the last thorough investigation of the John F. Kennedy assassination. This is where the committee believed the second gunman would have stood. The grassy knoll. Witness accounts and acoustical evidence agree that at least one bullet was fired from this spot. The grassy knoll. Just a few hundred feet from the grassy knoll, three tramps are arrested hiding inside a railroad boxcar. Thanks to Lee Bowers. By the Dallas police, this photo is taken. The man in the center strongly resembles Charles Harold. Yeah. Frank Sturgis. Frank Sturgis. Frank Sturgis. Frank Sturgis. None other than E. Howard Hunt of Watergate fame. Comtel agreed. Photo enhancement showed a striking resemblance to Hunt. Where were you on the day that John F. Kennedy was assassinated? I was in Washington, D.C., and I have three witnesses uh, who have testified under oath not once but many times as to my presence that day, all of whom are office associates of mine. Now I'd like to show you a picture, a picture taken of three tramps who were in Dealey Plaza on the day of the assassination. I'd like you to look at this picture, and I'd like you to tell me whether one of those tramps could have been you. It's a law of physics that you can't be in uh, two places at the same time, and I, since I was in Washington, D.C., it's quite obvious I couldn't have been in Dallas. Still, some investigators are concerned about this intriguing letter to a Mr. Hunt asking for details about a meeting in Dallas. It was written shortly before the assassination, signed Lee Harvey Oswald. Watergate murderer Frank Sturgis popped side by side with Castro while secretly acting as a CIA informant. He was among the first to discover Castro's true colors. A Russian submarine uh, one evening came off the coast of uh, Cuba. Uh, in Oriente province and unloaded a couple KGB agents. I did take pictures of these. I was a veteran myself. Paul Kangas was a veteran of the Bay of Pigs invasion of Cuba. And as a, a military Navy personnel, I was not in Cuba, but we had ships off the coast. Frank Sturgis, E. Howard Hunt, George Bush. George Bush, in fact, was my commanding officer of the invasion of Cuba. And so it's important to understand the connection between the Bay of Pigs and the Kennedy assassination. And, uh, when the, that foul was broken, uh, I only interpreted it on uh, the part of Mr. Kennedy as a, a failure of nerve. He was scared because Khrushchev says, don't do this or we're going to do that. You know, so he didn't do it and he deserted the Bay of Pigs. I was involved in the Bay of Pigs. Got a lot of people, who, friends of mine, that were killed in the Bay of Pigs. And I resent that. Don't play political games with me. I'm a military man. I'm a soldier. I go fight. But damn it, if I risk my ass out there and I'm getting shot at, I don't want some stupid ass politician to go ahead and make deals behind my back where my people... Sturgis just called President Kennedy a stupid ass and doesn't realize that he swore an allegiance to the Constitution when he joined the CIA. Just like I swore allegiance to the Constitution and the President when I joined the U.S. Navy for the invasion of Cuba. I think that uh, for him to have said that was uh, uh, probably a way of disguising from himself the fact that he himself was responsible for the fiasco with the Bay of Pigs, and I'm sure that that's something that haunted him for the rest of his days. But first, we'd like to remind you that our 900 numbers are open for your vote. Dial 1-900-220-2300 to officially reopen the investigation. Dial 1-900-220-2311 to let the Warren Commission findings stand. Approximately 45 minutes after the assassination, police officer J.D. Tippett was slain by a gunman. Here. It's obvious that the assassination of John Kennedy was at the highest level of the U.S. government, the CIA, and the military-industrial complex. That's why Oswald was assassinated also 
because Aldershaw was actually a spy working for the FBI and informed the FBI that the CIA was planning to kill Kennedy uh, with a telex sent to J. Edgar Hoover, which is in most reliable research books. We must arrest George Bush, George Herbert Walker Bush, for the assassination of John Kennedy. And the whole CIA operation must be shut down because it's nothing but murder incorporated inside the United States. They're destroying the Constitution of the United States. They're destroying our whole country by wasting money on military that should be going to schools and solar power. If we don't implement a feed-in tariff now in 2012, we are setting our country up to be a third world country that um, is dependent on foreign oil. We don't want to be dependent on foreign oil or atomic energy. We want to be independent and the way we can make the United States independent is through implementing a feed-in tariff which is a policy that pays homeowners 54 cents a kilowatt hour to harvest solar energy and I urge people to circulate a petition for the feed-in tariff in their town because it has to happen town by town. It can't happen uh, nationwide or statewide. You do it town by town implementing a feed-in tariff to make the United States independent of oil. We got to before oil leaves us, before we run out of oil, we must leave oil. So I urge everybody listening to this to help fight the right by implementing a feed-in tariff in your town. Um, by doing that, you will help make the United States independent. We can become the first uh, solar-powered nation on Earth. So. I urge you to get involved in the campaign for a feed-in tariff in the United States. Uh, every town needs to have a petition for the feed-in tariff. Once you get a hundred signatures, go talk to your mayor and say, look, I've got some support, I can get more, but we need to implement a feed-in tariff to pay homeowners 54 cents a kilowatt hour to harvest solar energy and um, purchasing panels, even Chinese solar panels. The Chinese are making high quality affordable solar panels so we should be purchasing whatever is the highest quality and the cheapest price we can get. Don't be conned by the oil industries trying to sabotage China. Uh, don't be scammed the way we were scammed on the Kennedy assassination. This is too important. Thank you very much.